All right, so now we want to turn this into a rusty metal look. So what we're going to do is create a new material. And now we'll rename it. And then we'll load in our rusty metal texture. Uh, this comes in the resource pack with this tutorial. So add our rusty metal. And then for the reflection, click this. For the color, we'll set it to the reflection texture. You can also copy the texture by clicking and dragging. And this puts it as the glossiness as well. Uh, we can also add a bump map to it to make it more, more realistic. So we'll go ahead and add in the same same reflection material. Uh, this usually works pretty good. And as you can see, if you turn up the bump bump amount, you'll see that there create shadows on the material. Now let's see what it looks like. So don't forget, we need to highlight and apply it to the material. I'm oh, sorry, apply our material to our object. And we may change some of the mapping. Right, so as you can see, the texture we've used is not a seamless texture, so it's come up with this repeating kind of pattern. So in this instance, uh, it's always good to find a different material to use. So we'll go ahead and add a different uh, seamless rusty texture. Alright, now let's take a look. As may be the same case for your bump map, so we'll also add a seamless bump map. For the bump map, we're going to use our already uh, metal texture. We're just going to flip it upside down. I will desaturate it. And maybe increase the exposure of it a little bit. And this can be used for the bump map. And we'll go ahead and add this to the scene. Uh, in in replacement of the previous texture, do the same thing. Copy it down. Now let's take a look. So there you go. Now mist is looking very rusty. We'll change our blend mode to blend amount. We can turn the reflection down a little bit. And just adjust some of the sliders to get the right amount of reflection and glossiness. But in this case, you want to fully rust over uh, our material here. So I think this looks pretty good. You can also use more flatter materials and textures to get that kind of more uh, reflective look. And also, if you're not happy with how it looks, uh, there's always the option of using just the default V-Ray materials because uh, there is a rusty metal texture here. You got the metal weather texture, so we can go ahead and add that to the scene. And we go ahead and render that. I can also give you similar results. Yeah, so that's all for this tutorial.